I had two more videos to edit, but going through them, it's uh, kind of like, uh, they have fucking spicy fucking subjects. Like, uh, there's another real racially charged one, and then there's one about uh, the Khazars. And I gotta space this shit out. I mean, I gotta, I'm trying to play cool here. Um, so, I figured I'd just make an episode that had nothing to do with anything contentious. And um, I just watched this video here. Um, I've seen her stuff before. Am I going to cross this? Let's go this way. I know there's like, it's good for people watching going that way, but it's kind of a, it's kind of a lot too many people for me. But the, um, this, I've watched her shit before and she's really good. But once again, someone explaining something way better than I can. What's up, man? How's it going, bud? Explaining something way better than I can, you know? Um, and she does. It's the thing about the, the 95%. It's what she uh, talks about is how there's, there's three, you know, different kinds of people. Which, um, you know, and I make mention of, but to me it's like, you know, you either... You're either going to call the Gestapo on me or you're not. You know, so to me, it's, everything is a bit more cut and dry. And, you know, the, the schizo circles I travel in kind of feel the same way about it. We, the, the time, I don't know what, how the, what that third group is supposed to be anyway. Um, and she gives the names of uh, the Hilux, which are the 95%. And, but what she brought up that I really didn't think much about was... She was saying that the Hilux, the uh, the 95%, the, the soulless NPC people, apparently, uh, from what she was saying, is that it's possible for the OS, you know, the, the, the main operating system, whatever, runs this fucking place. I mean, it runs off our energy, but whatever the, the, actually, the actual mechanic that makes it gives it infrastructure um, that can the, the OS can enter these people and uh, and talk for them um, which made me think of course about uh, demons like a lot of times uh, demons kind of they all the same kind of language and they all the same kind of talk but I, I would say that you can kind of feel it when you're around them I mean, most of the time, there's like a, there's just this, this feeling of dread. <sighs> not so much dread, I don't know. It's like there's a, a, a sense that we're not using that I pick up when I'm around them. It's like a smell that you can't smell. Like, um, I described it before as uh, static on top of rotten meat. Um, you just kind of feel it. Not all the time. But a lot of the time, it made me think. That sometimes, are these people that I think are, are demonically possessed? Is it just the OS speaking through them? Because you're saying they can, you know, allegedly, or you know, they, they. It is said that they can speak through these these vessels, uh, these organic portals. But whatever the case, it's pretty much becoming more evident that, you know, what I felt was theory maybe only a couple of years ago is pretty much understood uh, to be a real thing. I mean, if, uh, almost less than a year ago is when I discovered that the concept is actually very old. You know, I was talking about that woman they talked to, that, that tribal woman who was uh, describing the different things, and she's, she's definitely not on the internet, <laughs> you know. So, um... Yeah, it's good because, like, when I first started doing this shit, like, almost four years ago now, uh, when I would talk about concepts or explain concepts or bring them up, it was always very sheepishly, because I'm like, this fucking shit sounds so crazy, you know? And as much as I, you know, don't care uh, whatever people think, there's still some kind of thing in you that, regardless of how your front brain feels about it, that wants to be understood 
and have some kind of, I guess, credibility. I, I don't know. But uh, so it's interesting. There's so many people now. There's so many channels now talking about uh, metaphysical science, esotericism, uh, occultism, all the different things that, you know, talking about here. And they're a lot more like, unashamed about it not like I was ashamed about it but they're a lot more yeah this is this and that whereas a lot of times um, in the past I'd be like I, I know this sounds crazy it's gonna sound fucked up but you know couch 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 and then I would give the you know whatever I was gonna talk about uh, whereas it's good to see people just coming out and saying no this is what's up you know there's something about finding other sources like this too and I do this with Neil all the time, too. And my own uh, community tab. Whenever I find someone that's explaining a concept that I've talked about, if they just strike me um, as more authoritative for some reason, if they're <laughs> like this alchemist woman, well-dressed, very articulate, you know, it's, it's just like... To me, it feels like, look, this is this is someone, uh, you know, some legitimate type person is saying this too. Look, Nia, this well-dressed lady, I have no idea what their fucking background is, or even if they have one. But but I just I don't know what that is. It's a, maybe it's a self-confidence, self self something issue. But uh, and I do it with Nia too. I'm like, look, look at this this old old British man with all those books behind him, leather-bound books. You know, he's not crazy like me, and he's saying all that stuff, so I must be right. <laughs> I do that shit all the time. You know, you can see in my community, I just did it with this lady. I'm like, look guys, this person is way more legitimate than me. I'm just another walking around the neighborhood, fucking mumbling into his phone, you know. This person, this person has, a, has production value. You know, they're standing up completely straight. They're not swearing. And there's no fucking cartoon characters on the screen. You gotta listen to this person. It goes back to that thing, like, I don't know what it is. Like, I, I've said often, like, I don't feel like, I don't feel the need to, you know, convince people that what I'm saying is right at all. At least in my front brain, I don't think I do. But somewhere you, you do, or somewhere I do, because it's like whenever I see someone like that relaying the concepts, I'm always like, see, see, I told you, I told you it wasn't crazy. I don't know what that is. <laughs> because I guarantee you I'm more entertaining than any of those fucking people. I mean, you watch any of those like more serious type individuals with the sitting with a lot of books behind them or something that looks scholarly. And all those videos, man, they're fucking slog to get through. Like, usually I can't. You know, where they're just sitting on the screen, just just staring at you talking. It's like, oh, man. You know, that's the thing about, like, this kind of stuff, too. Uh, for me, spirituality and uh, metaphysical science, occultism. Um, it's usually just someone staring at the screen, you know, and you're just, like, looking at this dude in his room. It's like, oh, God. You get some good information, but, like, does it have to be so fucking boring? Once again, I didn't realize how smudgy the fucking screen was. We're in the home stretch here of my uh, palate cleanser video. Um, yeah, I just gotta break it up. Like, I gotta be smart about how I do this shit. I try to avoid any words that are gonna get me in trouble. Um, sometimes they're unavoidable, you know, when you gotta talk about certain letter agencies. But, um, you know, I pretty much replaced... Uh, J-E-W-S with um, Kzars because that's really what they are. They have nothing to do with the J-E-W-F J-E-W <laughs> J-I-D-F I think that was a fucking that was a, a kind of a truth a truth throughout there. A Sigmund uh, Sigmund Freud, what do we call it? Um, yeah, they, they have nothing to do with them so it's more accurate to call them uh, Kzars. Because it's really what it is. Um, but yeah, as long as I stay away from, you know, certain words. And I don't, like, make every video about uh, the problems that the West is facing. 
Um, I'll be okay. I made it through the summer. I was worried about that earlier. Uh, about, you know, I remember saying that, like, guys, I gotta make it through the summer because I'm so on the edge. I was right on the edge because I had um, just enough um, strikes, community strikes, that if I, you know, if I mess up with them again, I'll be hoping it over to Channel 2, which is fine. I mean, it's just, you just have to start. You have to, you know, build it up over it, which I don't care about. Like, to me, it would just be a continuation, you know. But, um, and it's weird because I think, like, yeah, less people would see it, but would they? Because of, you know, you figure this, this thing's shadow banned. I mean, probably a couple, a couple times on top of itself. So it's like, even though there's uh, less subs there, it's like, would, would I actually, uh, would it be more visible over there? I've tried that before. Like, I, I made a, uh, I, t I t did a test where I made a, I had a thing on Rancid, um, the band. And I put it out here, and it got under uh, 20 views, like 16 or 17. And then over there, it got almost 100. So, certainly there is some kind of difference, you know. Um, it, it is more visible in some ways. I don't understand how their shit works, though. It's like, I don't think anybody does. It's so obfuscated. It's not transparent, because if it was transparent on any of these platforms, you know, whether it's Facebook or Instagram, if it was transparent, they wouldn't be able to fuck with you. You know, they wouldn't be able to, you know, they wouldn't be able to defeat you fucking fake numbers I mean I, I used to point it out I don't even bother anymore where like you know post a video it's got no views in one hour and three likes how the fuck does that happen that happens to a lot of people though you know they just it's like they decide where they want you and then they just make your numbers match that and the idea I think from from their idea is to discourage you it's not gonna happen with me you know but um i guess there's some people that does if they're trying to to be like a youtube a youtuber then yeah that might work but um yeah I, that's same thing with instagram too you know when they when they ban your account they're like you have to start over all your likes and followers are gone so now that their likes and followers are gone they won't even want to do it again. And then you have me, who's on like the 14th account. Because <laughs> it's not about that. If I was like, a, you know, a different kind of person maybe, but I care about the shit. I know the people that need to connect with the things I'm talking about are going to just find their way there. You know, they're, they're going to find their way there. Because I find my way to the places I find my way to. You know, you're guided there by God. By God, he does, he fucking moves people. You know, he's walking along the road there and just God's hand comes along and moves you there and he puts it right where he needs it. Usually, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit of work. He'll give you a hint and you gotta go off that. But it's all good. We're all gonna make it, we're all gonna get out of here. And until then, don't blame the teacher. Blame the school. We're looking at the Queen Capulani statue from behind in the uh, in the park, and we thought it was a person up here. <laughs> Because they, they did something to it, like they, they recolored it. Like that blue is all new, right? Yeah, I think it was just one color, that same color as the face. Yeah, before. but from behind it looked like a person. Real person. Yeah. With real hair, but it was lace. <laughs> or, or one of those dudes that like pretend to be a statue. Yeah. But I, I, yeah, I mean, I know there's a statue. It's been here, you know. Yeah, I think it was just standing there. Like. I wonder when the statue came in here. I don't know. It's nice. It looks nice, though. They definitely retouched it. Yeah, the face is like bronze but the body's blue. Uh, that looks new. It like looks that looks brand new like they did something new to it. Maybe they just color blue on top. I don't know.